Hello, welcome to the Alpla GSR Fertilizer and Lime Spreader User Manual. In this video, you will find out how to use the machine safely and efficiently. Connecting the machine to the tractor, settings with ISOBUS, adjusting the door and more. Thank you for choosing us, so let's start. This machine is equipped with various warning labels for your safety. Please pay attention to the warning labels. things to consider before use. Keep the machine as clean as possible. Check wheel nuts daily before use. Check tire pressures before use. An important point is the weekly and daily greasing of certain places. These points are indicated on the machine by yellow labels. For more information, read the user manual supplied with the machine. Another important point is the height of the spreader discs from the ground. For effective spreading, the two spreader discs must be at the same height from the ground. During machine operation, the tension of the chain must be correct. In very tight sprockets, the material to be accumulated will cause the chain to jam while spreading, and too loose will cause the chain to jam and not return. The correct operating range is indicated on the label on the machine. Check after each load for the first day while the chain is bedding in, and adjust to setting indicated. First, connect the machine to the tractor. After, remove the pin at the bottom of the support leg, slide the lower part upwards and insert the safety pin again. Connect the large diameter return hose to the return line breakaway coupling on your tractor. Connect the small diameter pressure hose to the pressure line breakaway coupling on your tractor. Make the ISOBUS connection. With the tractor idling, engage your hydraulic spinners. The right-hand spinner should rotate anti-clockwise. The left-hand spinner should rotate clockwise. Spinners can be over-speeded. Check your tachometer. For 675mm diameter spinners, the maximum speed is 1100 rpm. In any new setup, always turn off the flow control before starting and turn it on with the tractor at max rpm to the desired spinning speed. Check the flow control setting to keep the maximum spinning speed within the above parameters. With the tarpaulin on the case, you can protect the material you use from adverse weather conditions. You can manually open and close the canvas as follows.
slide adjustment can be negative or positive. Please refer to the recommended start settings table. Side plates and rear side plates have to be at the same height. Please look at the recommended start settings for side plates and adjust the rear plates accordingly. You can adjust the panel on the back of the machine according to the use of fertilizer or lime. For most products, there will be no need to modify the factory setting position of the fins. However, if spreading different kinds of products, having adjustable fins can be very useful. If making an adjustment, both the left and the right spinners should have the same settings. In setting codes, L, M, S are abbreviations of long, medium and short fins respectively. This position for lime. If you use any kind of fertilizer, you have to take that accessories from the machine. Also, you have to remove this part down to up. Your spreader is ready for fertilizer now. The panel is currently in the factory setting. There are values for the positive and negative directions on the label. You can loosen the nuts and move them to the desired position by moving them in positive or negative direction with the help of the arm located next to the panel. The control panel is available on all hydraulic models. Thanks to the valve in the control panel, it helps you to make the necessary settings with the help of the computer on the tractor. Two section spreader discs in the valve and the other two control the twin chain. You can use various materials with this machine. For a correct and desired spread, you need to measure the density of the material you use. Fill the container until full. Balance the ring. Slide weight until the level is in the center. Read off weight per cubic meter in tons. Before starting to spread, you need to enter the below parameters. Working width, meter, application rate, kilograms per hectare, gate height, millimeters, spinner disc RPM, minute, setting working width, and spinner disc RPM. From the main setup screen, select machine, then select implement parameters. Enter desired working width and disc RPM. To select disc RPM correctly, please refer to spread width table, setting application rate and gate height. From the main setup screen, select job parameters. Also, you can use job parameters shortcut on the main screen. Then enter the application rate and gate height. Refer to the rate charts at the rear of the manual to determine gate height settings. Accessing the operation screen and starting application. The operation screen can be accessed from the home screen. Home screen, press the operation screen key. Then start spinner discs by pressing spinner key. Target rate will be indicated by the target icon. Starting and stopping application is controlled using the start and stop keys. Press to start spreading. Press to stop spreading. Be aware that the chain will not start conveying the product until the tractor moves forward. As your spreader detects a necessary change of the spreading width, the speed of the spinners and the speed of the twin chain automatically changes to control the spreading width on both sides, or individually on the left or right side. Information key. The information key toggles the speed and application information section on the operation screen between the display modes. Vehicle speed. Amount applied per minute. Target roller RPM. Target disc RPM. Enjoy your new product and we wish you productive and fruitful years.